Right now, I have artist and photographer Cal Bolter with me. Thank you so much for being here, Cal. Thank you, and my friends, thank you. Now, uh, you have some stunning photographs here. This is the first time I'm actually getting to see them because they were in the dark. Um, now, we were chatting a little earlier. I was chatting with Cal, and he was mentioning that um, you don't consider yourself like a photographer. I don't consider myself an artist. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I stand corrected. Um, okay, you don't consider yourself an artist. I would disagree, but um, that's because what I'm looking at is absolutely stunning. And uh, you were telling me that you, you try to capture a moment in time and just tell everyone about the, what your philosophy is behind your photographs. Capture is not quite the right word, perhaps. You didn't know. I'm a thief, is what I am. I steal a moment of time, take it, rip it out of the space-time continuum, and capture it for all time. Now, my subjects really never knew they were pickpocketed. You can see they're not watching. They are not watching. They're helpless victims. <laughs> Uh, but Cal, you do an, um, an incredible job, and each of these people have a story in their own right, but what you're saying is once you extract that moment from obscurity, then it's open to interpretation. Can you tell me about that? I like to think, I like to invite you to engage these as your stories. I'm hoping that, as some visitors to my exhibits have said, these images grab you. They just grab you. They speak to you. Well, I hope so. And I'm hoping that if they speak to you, you'll stay and have a bit of a conversation with them. Now, if you were to have a conversation with one of these, who would it be and what would you say? I just had to stop, Sandy. I just had to stop. I was biking across Mackinac Island but I saw your window open and I knew you were inside and you had something to tell me about last night. I know that. I'm going to be an artist and I'm warming up. Practice, practice, practice. I want to mention there's a design here. In fact, I would like you to see that all of these images are designs. It's not just about the subject of the image, but there's something going on with that subject that holds my attention, that pulls me back again and again into the dynamic. We have Ruth in her white dress, juxtaposed beautifully against this negative space, the black piano, like yin and yang, and the energy of her right arm as it approaches the keyboard takes us around through the image and those negative black spaces on either side pull us back into the dynamic of the piece again. Thank you, Cal. That was beautiful. Um, are your subjects primarily, uh, is this all northern Michigan or have you traveled to take your photographs? Uh, none of these are from northern Michigan. But they could be. I've been a very peripatetic photographer over the 40 years of making images, been around the world. Well, that's, that's not bad, and then you kind of let us into your world, which is incredible. Um, Cal, if people were interested in your art or uh, maybe could see it online, where could they do those things? Calvin Bolter, Facebook. Calvin Coulter, Facebook. And are, do you have any um, gallery showings or anything coming up? Yes, uh, there are pieces on exhibit at the Traverse City Studio of Art and Design out on Woodmere. And I'm, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. He, he just only gives you a little bit, doesn't he? <laughs> well, thank you so much, Cal. Everyone, Cal Bolter. <laughs>